hello guys welcome to in this video in this video I'm going to show you how to resolve the course error so here you can see um, I got this course error whenever I try to access the the CPI the user CPI and the API are running on my local system but the port numbers are different is that means they their URLs are not same so that's why the JavaScript is throwing this course error so now let's see how to resolve this okay so in first step what we have to do uh, we have to create one uh, JSON file and now I'm going to creating JSON file uh, here inside the proxy uh, config folder so uh, so angular is, uh, so angular provide the uh, proxy configuration to bypass the outgoing request and now inside this folder uh, we have to create one file which is the dev dot proxy config dot json you can name anything uh, as you think better and inside this file uh, so first uh, so so first property which we have to give the uh, endpoint of our API so I'm adding the all the endpoint API so like this uh, forward slash and double star which is represent the global and now uh, after that we have to inside this object we have to add the target property so the target property is that means the our API URL so my API are running on my uh, local system on the port number 4000 so I will add here the HTTP so double slash localhost and 4000 and after that the second property we have to add the secure so here I'm adding the true and the third property we have to add this uh, change origin which is which is false so um, uh, so I'm adding the change origin as a false because my API's are running on my local system so if if the API's are running on the remote server is that means different domain like api.com like this so we have to add here the true uh, true value here okay so this will be change the origin of our local system to the different domain okay now let's see uh, in uh, second step what we have to do we have to go uh, inside the angular.json file and inside the serve configuration okay uh, we have to add one property which is option and inside this option we uh, have to add a, another one which is a proxy config and for that proxy config we have to add the path of that JSON file now here you can see my JSON file is located in a proxy config folder a slash and the file name is do proxy config dot JSON so this is the second step we have to do so in first step what we um, ha have done so we have created one JSON file and uh, in second step we have added this JSON file inside the server config here and now in the third step what we have to do uh, we uh, uh, we have to pass the outgoing request through this uh, currently running localhost domain okay so here you can see uh, my development server is running on the localhost colon 4200 so this is a dev server so using that dev server um, the angular can, can pass the outgoing request okay bypass the outgoing request so we have to add this uh, domain inside the dev file environment.ts dev file so here we uh, what we have to do we have to just change the port number because we are bypassing the outgoing request through this development server now this is done uh, and uh, <laughs> so inside the uh, API service you can see uh, I'm accessing the environment.api URL and and passing to the HTTP client service. 
as a URL and slash users. Okay, so this is a, a third step. In first step, what we have to do, we have to uh, restart our development server. So I have stopped this development servers and restarting. Okay, after um, restarted successfully, so open the browser and refresh the current page. So here you can see, so I'm not got any course error now because this issue is now resolved and the APIs are received as successfully. And here you can see in header the API that are bypassing through the current development server. Okay, the localhost colon 4200 which is the Angular development server and I am by bypassing the outgoing request to the as that server. So guys, I, I, I recommend you guys just use this method for the development purpose, not for the production. Thanks for watching guys.